starting to eat their food. They eat and feed pretty good. Well, there's that little wild goat. <laughs> her mom's over here beside Ivy and eat. Sophie's over here eating beside Ivy. And uh, the rest of the goats are eating down on the field. I like to feed Ivy and Sophie by herself. And she's just now starting to learn how to eat a little bit of feed. She's going to do good. So we're going to run down and just check on the bees real quick. You want to go? You want to go? You can go if you want to. Uh, no, 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 we're not going to play this game. Okay. Get me and Woody out of here. Me and Woody out of here. We're out of here. She wants to play that little game. I sent you. I saw. They got a museum up there. That's, I mean, ninety percent of it is uh, Native American artifacts. Awesome. Oh, that'd be Dad, beautiful. If, if they had one arrowhead, they had ten thousand in that place. Man. Big axe heads. I mean, oh, they have awesome stuff in there. Told you about all the different tribes and everything. That's, yeah, I saw some of the pictures. That was, that was beautiful stuff. Yeah, you see our Blackfoot chief? Yeah, yeah. We, we probably can do him. Well, yeah, we are. Yeah, we can too. Uh, listen to me. Uh, do you get a hold of Brett? I did. But I, I had. You know, he's only nine miles from where you're at. Yeah. That's, I that's didn't know that. Uh, he's he's a he's a very lucky man. It's beautiful up there. Yeah, I forgot he had moved to Missouri. I thought he was still in Oklahoma, but yeah, now I remembered after he called me. Yeah. That he's in Missouri. No, it's uh, it's something to see. I tell you, especially up there where he's at, they're at Table Rock Lake, y'all, it's just, it's gorgeous. Yeah. All right, I don't want to hold you up. All right, Pop. Catch y'all later. Bye, hi, Lou. Hey. Well, it's, it's windy here today, guys. It's Saturday morning. I got a lot of chores I'll try to do around the pavilion. Uh, I've been shopping all morning. Got a track supply early. Get some things we needed. And, uh, Dan and Lou are back off their vacation. Jake and I had Y'all might see Jake makes a, a video now. I don't know if he did not late. Me and him down there chasing Billy last night by midnight, one o'clock in the morning. And uh, Billy is determined. He's found a point in life he's not gonna see in his pens. I ain't got in Bree doesn't realize this little chain here won't hold Billy. Let me show you. That little chain will not hold Billy no more. He comes up here and he just puts 2,000 pounds against that gate and starts walking. Well, that's chain and that little hook won't hold. And uh, I had to come down last night with my rope and, just, and granny tied it, granny knots. I see she's untied it, but I'm gonna tie it right back because he gets ready to come out after a while. He'll come up here and hit that gate. It's coming open. So we're gonna to to make some kind of adjustments with Billy. Gotta do something with him. I can't allow him to get out and get on the road at night, and get run over and hurt somebody or hurt himself. And he's enough to walk right down this driveway and right out to the road. Well, guys, you know, I don't I don't know if a swarm has actually moved in. I keep watching for somebody to bring pollen in or out, but there are some bees coming and going. There's not a lot of them. So I'm not going to say, is there a bee coming in right there, but he don't have no pollen on him to speak of. Um, we'll get up closer and just watch for a while. And, uh, what do you stay here? My little girl didn't come. She is such an arrogant little thing. That little girl is arrogant. I'm afraid she's going to be an arrogant child. She stood there and looked at me and wagged her little tail and turned around and walked. I said, I'm leaving. And she looked back, wagged her little tail and walked the other way. That's arrogance. That's an arrogant little girl. That's okay. I bet she'll be looking for us when we get back, Woody. Woody and I, Woody and I, we came. 
All right, Woody, I'm going to overlook these bees for a minute. You stay right here, okay? You stay right here, Woody. Now, these bees, guys, they have about two foot from them. They come out of the woods. They come out of a hollow tree somewhere, most likely. And, and I'm thinking there may be a swarm in there, but you know, you're not, you can't really tell for sure unless you see a swarm go in, which I've seen that before and it's an awesome sight, but uh, I just keep waiting on bees to fly in that's got pollen on them. Showing that they're not only building a nest, but they're starting to stock it with food. They're not gonna stock this box up with food they don't plan on living here. That's a lot of bees just to be, you know, checking it out. But there's, usually if one's got pollen, you see little old yellow or orange looking pouches on his little legs as he comes in and they're very, it's very obvious. You see, bees do come and go. There comes two in right now. There are three coming in. And, but here's the issue. If you open it up now to see if was there a swarm in there, these bees may leave and not come back if the queen's not already settled in. So that's why I don't open it up to look. I'll just keep observing. And when I'm positive, then we'll take them and put them in a hive for Bree or Jamie, whoever wants them. And uh, both have talked about it. And then I had some comments that Lester don't want bees. So we'll have to wait and see on that. The other box has, still has some activity, but not near like this box. This has always been my favorite tree. This tree has produced many, many swarms over the years. Many swarms. And it's not the tree, it's just the location of the tree. It's right here on this edge of this opening. Just on the edge of this opening and thousands of acres of big heavy timber behind it. All the way around. Like a half, half moon more or less around it. And so it's just a good location. I think bees come out of those thick woods looking for flowers and stuff that that, you know, come out on these open grounds like this and and they just, they discover it. They go back and report it. Then more come and check it out. If they like it, they go back and talk about it. Yeah, they do. Big discussion. And then when they, they're ready, here they come, if they like it. I uh, got a lot of I want to do today. I want to clean up some stuff around my pavilion. Uh, I dropped G off down the other side. I'm between Umbel and Houston this morning to pick up her car. They've got that sensor put in it. Under warranty, it didn't cost her nothing, but had to leave the car. And I went, took her down, dropped her off, and come back. I did some shopping. I had to go to Track Supply, like I said, a while ago, and do some things and a couple other spots. Uh, I was running late, so Alexa told me when I left, she said, well, just bring me a breakfast. If you don't mind, Papa. Oh, that's what well, but I'd be glad to bring you one. So I stopped at McDonald's and got him a it's called a big breakfast. Pancakes, sausage, and eggs and all that stuff. Jack in the box has has something similar called a platter or something like that. But there wasn't no jack in the box in here. Anyway, <clears throat> driving along, I was, I was thinking, yeah, I've been wanting to make a video. A, a kind of a tribute to my girl Heidi. And even when I'm just driving along thinking about, and not rehearsing, but things I would, I would say, paying tribute to her. And so others that would know that joined after her or never got to know her would know what her life was like with us. And, and I believe that Heidi could write. She would write she had a good life with us. I believe that. She was my partner. Not my pet. She was my partner. Anyway, I'm going to get that tribute out. I've been working on it. Just 
you know, trying to put together the right things, to say the right words for her. Uh, little Woody's doing a great job. He's out hiding. Because he's, he's contrary. He's, he, he's like that little girl up there. He's, they both hard-headed. Woody's hard-headed. I'll say, Woody, let's go. That's all I had to say to her. Let's go. She's on here. Uh, Woody, I got, Woody, let's go. Woody, 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 Woody. Look around. In a minute, Papa. In a minute. I got to pee, or I got to get a drink, or I want to go smell of this bush. Come on, Woody. I'm gonna leave you, bud. You ain't gonna leave me, Papa. You ain't gonna leave me. You ain't gonna leave that little girl very long. You don't get out of sight. You may drive off a little ways, make a run, catch up. How is it? They know me. I'm weak. I'm just a weak person when it comes to them too. Well, maybe not all of them. <laughs> maybe not all of them. I'm gonna be strong right now. What is go? What it? Turn this around. What it? What it? Woody, Woody, Woody! See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? He gonna go explore. He, he ain't worried. I'm gonna crank up now. I'll see what he does. <laughs> He's looking. I don't think my ball will drive off. I don't think my ball will drive off. Let's just see. Let's see. chair to go get a something to drink in the kitchen or whatever. He's up off that chair in the kitchen to go and just sits there and watches. I get up to go to the bathroom. He comes to the bathroom door and sits and waits till I come out. I get up to go to bed. He goes hops in the bed. If I go outside, he's right between my feet out the door. I come in, he's right between my feet in the door. I sit in my chair watching TV. He's in a chair with me or on the couch or the next to me. He's my partner, my little partner. He's not the partner I had, but he is my little partner. All right, I'm going to go get him. Actually, Gidget takes care of her. Gidget will get between her and these two little outlaws. Sometime last night, they was all in there playing. And Gidget was kind of like interfer playing, running interference for her. <laughs> uh, they wasn't being mean to her. They was playing, running, and get you get between them and they run. And, and every time a uh, little Bootsy would stop, get just kind of like walk up and get like on, almost on top of her, be standing there by her, <laughs> and kind of like protection. These two outlaws here, they're bad. These bad little girls here. They know it too. They know they are. Woody! Woody! Come on, buddy! Oh, Jake. Jake never comes through. Keep you bed it. I mean, I'm, yeah. No, I'm bad out there. Just keep you in. Oh, it's Buster. What, baby? What, baby? Oh, yeah. That's my chair. You get in it. <laughs> Get better take you now. No, you missed the trip to the woods. You missed that trip. You could have went to the woods. No. You was being arrogant. Mischievous. Not minding people. No, you wasn't minding. All right, I gotta go get Ivan some hay. I'll be through. Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all something.
This is grass. This little old kinky stuff here is stickers. Look how thick it is right through here. All the way around over here. It's also out here, on this area right in here, right in this area here. It's also around in the playground area. Uh, I bought some spray that's supposed to be designed to kill this stuff. But it says it should have been put out December and January before it ever comes out. It's already come out now, and there's stickers in it. It's got little little sticker burrs on it. And it will turn brown after a while, and the little sticker burrs mature. They stick in your feet, in your shoes, on your lawnmower tires. And then wherever you go, you spread it. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and spray it anyway and kill it. Uh, it's probably too late, but at least it'll be sprayed. And uh, I'll spray it again next year. You can see it real good here. It's, uh, I forget what they call it, but it's got these little things right here will turn into thorns. They're sticky. Uh, it's, it's real thick right in here. So we're going to spray it in a little while. I'm going to take her a little bit of a break right now. Morning, girl. Well, she says good morning. You're late, kind of late, Papa. I know I'm late, baby. I've been running errands. Been running errands, sweet girl. Running errands. Macy just had some of her temptations. And she's real happy with her pop off. <laughs> so she come over here. I'm taking a break. She said, well, I'll take a break with you, pop off. And temptations really made me feel good. She loves them. Anyway, I came out here to do some work at the pavilion. And uh, she followed me out here, so I went ahead and gave her some songs that she got yesterday on Gifts and Goodies. Now I can wear take a break and sit down and here she comes. As soon as she's fed up through eating, here she comes. You can go. No, you can go. Take off. Well, take off, kid. You gotta stay with me. I don't need I don't need company. Everything is shedding. Here is fur. Everything is shedding. I haven't I haven't looked like he had a bad haircut. <laughs> God. It'll start brushing out and it just comes out and just lumps. Just <sighs> anyway, just everybody's shedding uh, this time of year. I guess. I've shedded a little bit myself. Guys, <laughs> yeah, I hope it don't kill the grass. But this is what I had to use. What it called for for that, uh, that burr burr stickers? What they call it? Uh, that's what it called for. So that's what I used. Mixed it my takes two cups of this to a gallon of water. And uh, I sprayed the whole yard. And uh, only where that stuff's at. Woody, I didn't let Woody out because I don't want nothing to run around in it when it's wet. It'll dry here pretty quick. Wind's blowing, the sun's out. Hopefully this stuff here works, okay? Uh, and uh, not supposed to hurt the animals. Animal friendly, you <laughs> pet friendly, but regardless, uh, I'm fixing to go ahead and eat me a bite. I've got enough here to make another gallon, and I'm going to go ahead and mix up another gallon here in a little bit, and I'll just leave it in the sprayer. So if I uh, next year for sure I will do this again. If it's, I hope this does some good right now, but if it don't, I for sure would do this again uh, next December or January. This stuff's pretty expensive. I think I paid sixty bucks for this little thing here to make like three gallons of. Four spray but uh hopefully it'll work the little kids can't go outside barefooted uh and then when they wear those shoes they track them little stickers everywhere so we'll see Woody Woody ready to go in and eat baby let's go in and eat let's go in and eat Woody <laughs> let's go eat Papa let's go eat Mick we're going in you guys see what I'm looking at that, that's the seventh stuff I sprayed. Look how it's already turning dark. Uh, the rest of the grass staying green. And over here where I sprayed some, you see little places. 
that's that stuff I sprayed. Uh, and over in this area here, where it's dark, that's that stuff I sprayed. That spray is already killing it. And evidently it's not killing the grass, which is a good thing. See it? Now it'll be easy to come back out here in a day or two and look for spots I missed. Like I can see some right here. See how dead it is here? But then you see some right there, it's green. And like right there where that ball is. You see how I sprayed, I missed that. And the spot's right there. I can come back. I've got enough, now that it's kind of hot, hot shot, I guess, or hot spot, whatever you want to call it. Walk around, kind of hit these little spots I missed. Problem is, you can see the clouds starting to build up. We're supposed to be starting getting some rain tomorrow. Uh, most all the first part of the week. Uh, so I may have to wait till that rain and stuff is gone. I don't want to put it out too late. Although it's killed us here within a couple of hours. I think I'm going to go ahead and mix up some more. And I can see now where I need to do and go ahead and do it. And hopefully that rain will hold off long enough that it'll kill this stuff before it gets here. I'm very happy with what I see. Yeah. I got some boxes I'm gonna burn. Uh, the wind's blowing that away, so not gonna affect nothing. Yeah, I just gonna sit here and relax with you. Good way to get rid of my boxes. <laughs> just burn my boxes up. Uh, this is from Gifts and Goodies on Saturday. And those little boxes, you know, I, I wasn't for sure about the name on so many gifts for almost all the animals from, I, I think I said K-Crisp. And, uh, Guess right here. Well, you might there you go. See had K Crisp at dinner, that's her name. Uh it like put like little cards in it just uh, on on the address label. And uh she sent me a very sweet message. I appreciate it so much. All the animals are appreciated too because they all get stuff. Every time I go out now, I'm carrying lots of stuff with me. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna cut this off and let this burn and sit and enjoy the, the warmth of it. We get a good, pretty good breeze coming through here. As you can see, pretty good breeze. You hear all the wind chimes. You can hear, hear my boy out there barking. Somebody, somebody. I'm gonna sit here and relax for a few minutes, then I'm gonna go uh, mix up more of that spray. I got enough to finish, I think, to get everything sprayed. Talk to you guys a little bit.
goat, a little goat, dictate to me or Woody what we got to do. Woody and I, Woody and I will not tolerate it. And she got to learn that. Sit there and want to go for a ride. It's getting late, almost dark. We'll come back, fix her bottle, and put her little butt to bed. She had to have a ride. So here we are. Low on gas, low on gas, little kid. Don't matter. Don't matter, Papa. Gotta have a ride. So I'm gonna take her down to Camp Fighting and let her play around for a few minutes. And then she's going back, get a bottle, and go to bed. I'm not gonna let. Not gonna let my little girl. A little smart in here. Dictate what we're gonna do. I'm tired. I'm ready to go in for the night. I'm ready to fix her bottle. I'm ready to fix her bottle and put her to bed. Not go for rides. I'm tired of riding. Well, I'm not tired of riding. I'm tired of working. Go. Do your thing. I'm gonna sit over here in the chair. Whew. That walking and spraying is kind of tough. Kind of tough on the knees. And she's standing there beside the fence. Wanting to go for a ride. Wanting to go for a ride. Well, you at your ride. This is your ride, kid. Tell her, Woody. Woody and Papa ain't gonna deal with it. All the time I'm spraying, she's standing at that fence crying. I can't let her out, you know, uh, when the grass is wet, even though it's pet friendly, it says. Uh, I'm hoping it kills those stickers. I think it is. Maybe too late for this year. The stickers may be already, already there, but maybe I can do it again next year, next winter, like it says I'm supposed to. And, uh, but I want to give her a little time out before she takes her bottle and goes to bed. I'm going to sit here for probably maybe 30 minutes just let her play around. And yeah, it'll be dark by then. Oh, it's been a nice day. It's clouding up. It's supposed to be raining for the next few days. I, I hope it is. It's dry, guys. It may not look it, but it's dry here. We had dust blowing all day. Anyway, that'll be good. I have a, a friend that watches the weather and she's telling me all the time about the weather, what's fixing to happen, but I, sometimes she's a little bit wrong. I had to get on to her this morning. You know, I don't know about her. <laughs> it's the same way with the local weather. You watch the local weather, it may not be, it may not happen that way. Uh, yeah, she's a sweet lady. I appreciate her. Talk to my friend Steve over in Tennessee. He's wanting to start his garden, but he's still got ice. Still got freezing weather. <laughs> Steve does a good garden every year. He does a really good garden, beautiful garden. He said it'll probably be the middle of the month before he could even think about getting started. All right, I'm just gonna cut this off, guys. I hope y'all enjoy this. And I'm gonna sit here with this little girl and Woody. And we just gonna sit here uh, and let her just have a good time. Uh, she's she spoiled. I don't know why that's that way. She thinks she can get her way. I'm not going to tolerate it. She, she got to learn that. I love you guys. Y'all take care. I hope y'all share this. Subscribe if you haven't. Share it with a friend. And hit the like button. Okay? I love you guys. Y'all take care.